that again. Hello everyone and welcome to this Make Code Python for Minecraft vacation. My name is Pelly. I work for the Make Code team and with me is Nell. Nell, can you go back to the title screen oh, yeah. and enter a world? We'll be doing uh, Minecraft today and we're going to be doing Minecraft Education Edition. If uh, your school uses Office 365, you can use your school account to sign in into Minecraft Education Edition. Um, if it doesn't work, check out the YouTube um, description. There is some links on how to enable that and get you going. And without further ado, Nell, <coughs> let's go and start and open our previous world. How are we going to change our player? All right. Oh, wait, we have to look like we're farmers. Yeah, we've been farming with the agent, and today we're going to do farming uh, episode number two. See, we're farmers. Um, well, a farmer. So we had our farm. Far, uh, last time the agent was able to till and plant some uh, melon. Um, <laughs> Let's try. You, <laughs> you're going to have a hard time typing Python with these uh, unicorn paws. But, uh, unicorn stuff. <laughs> Alright. Uh, view my worlds. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yesterday's, yeah. There we go, play. Yeah, we need to find our... Mm. And then there, I have my ears, so I can hear everything. Then the eyes, I can see anything. You have four eyes now. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh yeah, that our agent is here. And yeah, just to remember what we did last time, we the agent is able to do that. We're gonna run the code. We go and find the code. Cause uh, wait, cause it's been, we've been doing things. Hold on, let me go in list mode. Uh, introduction and we were farming it wait what, that's why we were farming it. what was introduction oh I was testing other stuff playing in Minecraft okay so that's the code we ended up with let's run it let's see what our little agent is doing but it's sort of on tilted grass yeah let's run again all right uh, agent okay so he's moving I think he's moving 12 times and then he's planting planting and then next we need him to dig around well let's figure out the right turn here let's figure out the right turn now we want him to do at least four lines of this this is not an impressive field uh it is for me yeah well we can do better okay let's go it's gonna be hard to yeah. all right so one thing that's really helpful if you come back is kind of reread the code and try to figure out what's going on. I'm going to have a new line here. Um, so do you remember what Tilter did? Yes, I do. Tilter, the agent tilted forward, then he placed a seed, then he moved forward again, and it was in a repeat of 12 times, so, I, so he did it 12 times. That's just something cool. Uh, I can paint on the screen now. <gasps> I want to do that. All right. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so teleport, tilt, left turn, forward, left turn. Move back one, tilt again. Now, how do we go about the right turn? Now we have to do the right turn. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, a right turn. You're going to have to use those two hands to I type. <laughs> Agent. Turn. Right. Oh, hold on. How that work? It's amazing. Oh, no, I'm I'm wrong. All right, so that works too. I think I might remember something that we learned. What are you trying to do? Oh, copy paste! Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. We have the camera. Uh, so copy paste. So Control C. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. And I did it with my index finger. Yeah. And my thumb. No, Pinky my thumb. and index. You go like this. Hee -hee, hee -hee, hee -hee, All right. Hee -hee. Uh, so you're turning right. Uh, I think we're missing something though. Oh yeah. So we're gonna add a new empty line there. It has there. to move forward. Yeah, you could just type it. Move. And I'm 
and tab it. Boom. Uh, okay, let's try. And it. wait, wait, wait. Oh, and. And then. You don't want to tilt. No, but we first. Oh, you want to test? test? All right, so he's going, and let's let's just move. Let's just stay here. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna come back. I want to see close what he's doing. Perfect. That's good. Now he just needs to tilt. Now so he needs to go now back. Now what we do is we do use the tilter. He needs to go back by one, just like here. Oh. Okay. Control C and Control V. Yes. Then we take this. Control C. No. Undo. Oh. Control C. C. No, wait. Oh, we have to. Control, Control C. C. B. Now let's try it out. Let's try it out. Actually, it's going to be on tilted grass. It's okay. Eh, but we won't I think he's out of seeds. Oh, no, there's already seeds. Are you flying? No. All right, let's see. He's going there. He's coming back. Oh yeah, this looks good, and he's doing the second time. Actually, now I know what we have to do next. It's gonna be easy. Do I know? Yeah. Um, I have an idea. Uh, we just have to do this again. Now we're doing this again. Did you hear that word? We just copy paste it. Is there a better way to do it? Mm, I don't know. Whenever you hear like, "Oh, I have to <gasps> do it multiple times." And again, yeah, function is great. Let's do a function first. A variable? I don't know. So we could move all these. Or can we just copy paste it? No, let's do a function for this. Okay, but okay, so and then how do you make a function? You go in. Yeah, you just type it here. So to declare function, you say def, because it's a definition. So D E F. And see it's gonna be this blue keyword. Then you give it a name. <coughs> Double. I'm going to say the left, left run, left uh, lane. Left farm. Left farm. But um, in Python, you can't have spaces. Mm. So what we do in Python is we use an underscore. Left farm. Hey, Mr. And Squiggle. now you need to do the arguments. So the syntax is opening parentheses. Do you take any arguments? No. So closing parentheses. Column. And now we move all the code we need. Can I do that? Yeah. You can take it all at the same time. I know. So you have to start from one end to the other end. Yeah, I'm doing You can't that. start from the middle. Look, you start here. No, because you're starting in the middle. You want to grab all this. See, I start here. And I grab all this. <coughs> you can't do it. Well... When you, when you, so when you select text, you select from one end to the text to the other. So if you put your mouse here, you can only select this way or this way. You can't select both. Okay, so I go, wait. Ex so you go on one end of where you want to select. And I want to, yeah, there you go. And yes. And now we're going to do. Copy, paste. Release it. Control X, which is cut. X. And we're going to do control V. Boom. Now, see, it didn't get the. We have problems with our indentation here, so we have to fix it. No, we don't. Look, it's double and then not. Oh, Oops. so no double? So no double, and then like this. And then it should be all under the same, nicely aligned here. No, so we have to do tabs. You have to go there and do tabs. Free tabs. It's, it's actually easier to move with the cursor keys when you move the cursor, okay. the, the arrow keys. There you go. Because the mouse can be hard, you know, it's hard to kind of. All right. Uh, let's do that for the right thing too. So we're gonna create a new function. Here. Uh, I like to put all my functions at the top. Here. Tab. <coughs> Why 
you're gonna call it, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Wait. That's a good name. No, wait. I have an idea. Farm. No. Mm -hmm. So we could just call it Right Farm. Oh. I know it's boring, okay. but. Now, use the underscore. Oh, wait. Character. Shift underscore. And then farm. So when you want to kind of write, whenever you want to put a space, you're going to use underscore. Now, a function takes oh, wait, those I know, parentheses. I know, I know. Shift nine. So these are called bra square brackets. And we're looking for parentheses. There you go. And it adds the two of them for you. So just move the cursor and column. And yeah, programming languages, they're very picky about these signs. Oh, look, it's not the same. They're on top of each other. Whoa, 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 I moved the cursor. I saw you do this. All right. <laughs> yeah, so use your pinky on this shift. If you're using the right shift, button use the pinky and I did it. you get the column character yeah that's quite that's quite hard all right let's copy the code let's move the code now you mean for the right code cut? Yeah. yeah cut sorry oh wait messed up messed up messed up yeah so start from one end and then yep no we don't want that and now control x for cut control x and you're gonna go on the right farm and control V. Boom. <laughs> and again, when you're copy pasting, the indentation might be wrong. Oh, yeah, I know. So you need to go always double check that. Mm. Uh, and if you're fixing that, it's easier to fix it with the cursor. I am. I just gotta start here and go down. Hey. And tab yourself out of, you know, back to happiness. And really, the functions are great because then your code really makes sense. You kind of kind of understand it by little chunks. Can we try it? Yeah. Oh wait, we didn't call the function. Yeah, so it's really broken right now. <gasps> oh look! You have to add water on it. Oh, uh, we can make the the world rain. That's fine. I guess we can just. We can just start raining. We can make the world rain. Yeah, well, that's a bit cheating. All right, let's it's go back to the cheating. code. It's using your mind. Yeah. Okay, so we have to call. Yeah, we have to call those. Now, if you start typing left. Oh. And it doesn't find it for you. Oh, there we go. Left farm. And you need to put parentheses there to say, oh, I want to call this function. So shift and nine. All right, and now we want to do right farm. There you go. Now, I know what I have to do next. <laughs> okay, so this is as far as we went, but no. Yeah, so, so we're back to stick square one as far as before we wrote those functions. And now, what is now going to be doing? Oh, copy paste encoding. All right, let's go. I'm just going to do this for a very long time. Now, whenever you're copying and co copy pasting code, you should have all the alarms ringing, and there's something in your mind that should say, maybe I should use a. Maybe instead of copy pasting, I should use something called. should I use? <laughs> Nell, what should you use? When you're repeating code a lot, what do you use typically? Oh, yeah, repeat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so you may be tempted when you just learn copy paste to just really do it a lot, but uh, I did that. there's a much better way to do that. Uh, yeah, let's just, I, you never saw me not do that. Mm -hmm. It was my idea. <gasps> Here. Yeah. All right, now let's fix up the code. 
No, no, no. Mm -hmm. So what? No, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. All right. You could just backspace the space this there. I could. Yeah. Now it's complaining because you know you you. I look at the message thing. Expected an indented block near left arm. So remember, when you do a for loop, you need to be just like in the mouth and blocks. There needs to be a space. All right. So we're gonna tab it. Tab it. Again. Right doesn't have a problem. Can we try it? Yeah. Oh, but it's only four times. Well, it's gonna be four round. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, it's looking pretty good. Now it's really farming a lot. It's nice to see that, and it's growing. I mean, this, this agent is very useful now. But thanks to the loop. Is she gonna stop? No. Well, yeah, to count. It's gonna be eight rows. Oh, yay. Yeah. Probably one more. I will see you after my nighttime sleep. I'm joking. I will see you once I am done with my magic. All right. Transformed into a unicorn. So Come to back. recap what we did today. Uh, Is he done? He's still telling. No, we, we went on code. That means that we stopped it. I learned yeah. that. We have a first function that does a line of tilling and planting yes we have a second function that does the going forward until and then we have the right one and you have the right which one which does exactly the same thing but turns right and then we have agent teleport to player which makes the agent teleport to us and then we have the whole thing put together to uh mine a big um a big field and then that agent can, yeah, he's, he's really unhappy. Yeah. He's really unhappy that we're, we're trying to mar my farm in the... We really should think of putting yeah. it in a chat command. So that's how you do farming with the agent. What's really helpful when you're doing Python or in general any coding, uh, also in blocks or in JavaScript, is use functions. They're really helpful because you can then break down your program into smaller chunks. And then ultimately, that's the part that you kind of read and understand. And also use loops. And use loops. Don't just copy paste all the time. <laughs> Peekaboo. All right. And that concludes this Minecraft session for today. Thank you, everybody, for attending this farming with the agent number two. All right. Let's, let's put the agent to farm just to finish on a high note because he's, he's just really a, annoyed here. You have to make him happy. Uh, and then we're going to go for, yeah. It's two mouse. All right. Our mouse there we go. are fighting against each other. So eventually those messages are going to go away. Hmm. And we have our agent here that is very nicely farming for us and planting seeds. We could put more stuff in the inventory and plant different seeds. No, but I like melon. And you can sell melon, so we're using melon. All right. Well, we're going to leave that... We're going to leave that world running so that the melon flow, uh, grow. Oh. Won't be able to oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. So that's how you do farming with the agent. We're going to leave it do. We're gonna leave it on for about an hour, I think. All right. Yeah, he's done. Look at that. It's a perfect square, rectangle. Perfect. Very nice uh, little patch. And, yeah, it's growing already. Yeah. It's looking good. Oh, yeah. uh, there we go. We got already a crop that's, that's doubled. So it's going to gonna look great. All right. See you around on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe on Mixer or subscribe here on the YouTube channel to you know, find all the videos about Make Code.